Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working in my journal and I'm going to be using my December to Remember collection that just launched. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in and look at what we're doing. I'm going to be using the Oak Christmas tree, the 2048, 2048, and I'm going to use these two stamp sets. I will link all the products below so you know exactly what I've used. But this set is quite fun because this is a set let me get a piece of white paper behind it. This set is designed, hand-drawn by Yildiz Mulders. She's part of the design team from the Art Journal Specials Collection and I turned it into a stamp. Uh, very fun set. I'm going to use the Christmas tree. Uh, I'm going to use this set. I'm going to use one of these stamps, maybe even more, I don't know yet. And I'm going to use, um, well, that's it. I've already trimmed out my uh, base page, which is for the XL Journal, but if you fold it differently, as I designed all the dies, you can use them in the smaller uh, TNs as well. Uh, that is the normal passport size. The square TN, the small one, this one will not fit. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm using it, I'm making it now for the square TN and I'm going to be working on the inside of the page. Now what I've done, I've trimmed out the Christmas tree out of, um, how do you call this, cork uh, with sticky adhesive already on the back that's quite fun i've already trimmed out this part um, that i'm going to be using i'm not sure i'm going to put berries on so i'm going to put this to the side because then if i make up my mind i know what to do but what i'm going to do first is i've already inked up the edges of this christmas tree using my gina k which is christmas pine color and i'm just gonna uh, go over that cork a bit to make it a bit more green. Not completely, but uh, yeah, I just like the effect it gives. So I've darkened the edge, um, really made that intense, and I'm just giving it a light coat of this green ink. And just love how that looks on the cork, right? So I've already done that with my wreath so um, what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put this on here but before i do that i want to stamp on there and i'm going to use my misty for that because i want to make sure i get it right so i'm going to put this one right down here in the corner stick it down I'm not sure I'm going to need my magnets, but you never know. Just put them there. And I'm going to take the big Christmas tree that Yildiz has drawn. And I'm going to put that on there. Because that fits on there beautiful and it's just a fun effect. And I want the big bow that's in there here at the top. Is that going to fit? Yeah, that's going to fit. And pick that up. Now I'm going to stamp that using my VersaFine ink. Ink up that stamp really well. And stamp. Oh, I love that. I love the grungy look. Yep, it's not completely centered. Well, nothing we can do about that now, right? Just going to clean this off because this is a water reactive ink. It's not, it's Versafine, so I don't know why I'm bothered. But, anyways, <laughs> I'm using all sorts of ink create this and I got confused okay let's put them back okay now this is ready to go on to my page now this lines up perfectly and that's I think that's really fun there you go perfect on the edge and I love the effect it gives with the Christmas tree in that cork 
So what I want to do next is I'm coming in with this Deco Gel Star Sparks. It's a gel pen and I'm just going to outline this bit here at the top and then I'm going to wet my brush and I'm lightly going to pull that color out. And there's a little sparkle in there. Let me show you. I don't know if the camera picks up. There you go. That looks lovely. So I will do that to all the branches of the Christmas tree. So draw the lines and just pull that color out. And I love how this even works on the cork. Just gives this fun it gives it some dimension, makes this Christmas tree stand out a tiny bit more. And the last one. And I'm doing the same to the pot in a brown color. So I don't want to introduce too much different colors like that. And then with my gold, I'm just going to color in the flames. I'm going to leave the candles in the natural color. There we go. You see how lovely that looks with the shine. So love that. So that's the first part done. Then, as I said, I've already cut out two of my um, little wreaths and I broke one, but that's not a problem. And I'm going to put this right here in the center of my page. Like so. Then I've trimmed out another one that I'm going to put on the top but slightly offset that. So that will make the wreath even fuller than it is already. Just a fun effect. Also, again, really fun to do on a card or... So this is also cork. And then colored green. So stick that down well. And then I'm going to use this, uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I'm going to put that right in the center here. Now, I'm going to use a block for that. Yeah, that's big enough. And I'm going to center that right smack in the middle onto that beautiful background paper. Love that. Next I'm taking Rainforest from the First of Claire, and I'm going to stamp these hollies out. here in the corner. And another one, just let me see, 
here. One here. And another one right here. And the second generation there. And one here. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to go around filling up that area. But now with the second generation, so that makes it a bit lighter. And move it to the background a bit more. There we go. Next, I'm coming in with this little pine tree thingy, <laughs> branch. And what I'm doing along this line, first generation, second generation, just going to create a little border there. You see what that does? It gives it depth by using first, second generation. Yep, like so. Next, I'm coming in with the Star Sparks again with the Deco Gel. This one's called Red, which is good because I want to color in these berries here. Just to give them a pop of that red. Not on the third generation or second generation ones, but just on the ones that have the first generation print or stamp. Just blending these out again. So I'm heat setting my inks, so I'm sure that they will not be sticky. Or that I don't smudge them, that's what I should say. My, then I'm coming in with my Delicata pigment ink in gold. And I've got my th little stars here. And I'm just gonna... Place them on there. Overlapping. Like so. And it gives a really subtle shine. And I'm going to do the same around here. There we go. Now this is really subtle, but in real life you re it does show up. See, it just gives it another layer of goodness on there. I love that. Right, so let's put these back before I lose them. I'm going to use the word, it's Christmas, and I'm going to stamp that right here next to the Christmas tree. There we go. It's just that I want that black to come back a bit. And I think that is it for this one. So let me clean up my mess a bit. So one thing that is left for me to do is etch my page. So I'm going to take frayed burlap and I'm just going to go around. And what that will do, it will take away the white here at the edge 
and make it look a bit more grungy, vintagey. And I just love the finished look of that. Just like that, going around, inking up the fold as well. You don't have to, but I like to do that. Because I think that really finishes off the page. So let me get my little journal. This is a page I made earlier with the other set. But let me just put this one in. Because I think it always looks better when it's in a journal, right? So. There we go. Here's the finished result. And I love it. I love it. So just another option with the different stamps and the, uh, the Christmas, the O Christmas tree die set. I hope you like it. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, all the products I use are linked below in the description box. So that was it for today, guys. Um, thank you for joining me today and I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.